Hey guys, it's Steve. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is recreating this alien right here. I picked something simple, effective, just to give you guys an idea on how this actually works doing something like this. So let's get started on working on that. Alright, now the first thing I do when I throw the art on here is I usually just throw it on one layer, then I'll click on the target, and then simply go to the opacity and drop it down to 30% or whatever your preference is and I'll lock that layer and then I'll create another layer which I already have one made here and then click on the target button and drop the opacity down for this layer to about 50 percent and this is the layer that we're going to be working on right here so to get started what we're going to do is doesn't pick any color you want I have uh, the stroke here knocked out because all we're going to work with this fills for right now and I'm going to hit L for the shortcut for the circle and then hit shift and alt and hold it down to create a perfect circle next thing we're going to do is work on the uh, eyeball and you're just going to pick a random color for that as well because like I said it doesn't really matter at this point what the colors are then I'll click off of that next thing we're going to do is the eyebrow right here different color you got the pen tool hit one point then click and hold and drag the handlebars out at an angle and what you're seeing right here this line tracing this is part of the new uh, creative cloud 2014 where this will actually sh it actually shows you where you click that's how the line would look but other than that what we're going to do is click on the point right here to get rid of that uh, handle click and hold and just pull these out a little bit give us some curve click on that point then about midway we're going to click and hold and then we're going to click again here and at this point what we're going to do is hold alt that way we can actually curve this line out without affecting this line right here so if I hold alt and I bring it up to this point you'll see a little circle next to the pen if you click and hold still and then you pull that line out because if I, as I said before if I didn't have that held or if I didn't hold on alt I click here and try to move this it would, it would excuse me it would move this all around so the next step what we're going to do is do the little enclosure here for the brain it's going to select the circle with the L a circle and what I'm going to do is actually pull these out we're just going to get the rectangle find out where the points are where they meet and match it over select both and unite or add in the pathfinder tool then I'm just going to turn it over to the side and try to match it up as close as possible or to what I see fit then we're going to select this hold shift control and left bracket and I'll knock it all the way down to the back which that doesn't actually look right so I'm just going to eye this up a little bit next thing we're going to work on is uh, the casing right here underneath the eye. Let's simply hit the L and we're going to create a circle which you don't have to hold down shift or anything like that to keep it straight. And I'm just going to eye it. Just hold down the space bar so you move this around. And we're going to select that and knock that or control shift back bracket to knock that all the way in the back. Next thing we're going to do is work on this leg right here. Let's pick a different color. P for the pen tool. And I'll, I'll, probably, I'll start right about here. Click. Click and hold it, it, hold, hold it down so you get the right uh, angle that you want. And then click right there. 
and we're just going to click there. Let me just click and hold. Knock that point out. So you always want to be about halfway so you can get the arc to come out right. And we're going to click and hold there. And click and hold just to angle that off. And stop there and hit that and close it. That would be a complete path. And what we're going to do here is let me pull the box out. Let's grab the anchor point tool. And we're just going to round these out a little bit. So click on it and hold. Just pull it out to the side. And we'll do the same for the other as well. And all we're going to do is a little control shift back bracket. And all we're going to do is duplicate this for each other foot. But what we're going to do is work on this one foot first. That way we have it mostly finalized before we copy it all over. So it's not that big of a deal to work on each foot individually. And I must stress save as much as possible because I've had blue screen excuse me I've had blue screens and just crashes and I haven't saved for about 20 minutes I've lost a lot of work because of that issue but we'll save this foot for uh we'll start working on the feet after we get the rest of this done over here all right now to uh, do these muffler pipes what I normally would do just grab the ellipse and rotate it to about the way you want it. Now I'd select this one right here where the ellipse that's already out. Control C to copy it. And what we're going to do is hit, now just hit the C button and we're just going to cut these sides off right here. I have this in two pieces. We're going to select the bottom piece and backspace to delete it. Select the pen tool. And I'm going to hold shift down for this. And then let go. We're just going to curve this out a little bit. And hold down alt at this point. And click to close it. And we can click off. Now, uh, Control F to paste that ellipse back on the front. And we're going to change the color of that. Now, if you press Control Y, you can actually see where the paths, the actual lines itself of the paths, and you can see that it's off. So, what I'm going to do is just eyeball this, bring that in, bring this in. Control Y to go back to the full view mode. Let's change these up a little bit. And for this right here, all we are going to do is just duplicate this and put it in the back and just give it a darker shade. And what we'll do is go up to the brain, pick a different random color. You should click right about down here just to have it so it'll cover it up. And click and just curve it. Close that off. Click and curve. Click. And I'll just take it right about here. And uh, control shift to knock it away to the pack, and control and right bracket to bring it up step by step. So if you press control and shift in either bracket, it'll knock it all the way to the front or all the way to the back. But if you just press control and bracket, it'll bring it up level by level. So 
So now what we're going to do is start working on the leg down here. So we're going to select this foot or leg, whatever you want to call it. And what we can do now to this point is actually click on the target ball here and bring the opacity up to 100%. Now I want this alien to have a similar lake color, bright neon green, as this one here. So what I'm going to do is switch over to HSB, and I'm just going to click on a green, and then I can just make it as bright as I want. Next, I'm going to add a stroke to this. So I'm going to press, being some on the fill right here, for the shortcut, I'm going to hit X. And I'm going to give it a darker fill. Or, excuse me, a darker stroke, I'm sorry. And I got the stroke going through the center. And since I'm using this color right here for the stroke, what I normally do is grab it and drag it up in here in the swatches. Because what I'm going to do next, well, first off, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make all these strokes on the outside. That way, it's easier to work with uh, putting in the fill, the fill shading. So, because we got our stroke on the outside, what we're going to do, just hold Shift and X to swap these colors out. And we're just going to get rid of the stroke. We're going to take the pen tool and simply start on, the, start on the line right here, I'm sorry. And then click and drag. Because what we're going to do is uh, give it the wrinkles or whatever you want to call it. I'll show you a way to cut this off. If you want to do it this way, it's totally up to you. But what I'm going to do is I want this piece inside here. So I'm going to select this leg, Control C for copy, select them both, and hit the intersect. And that's going to give me that piece inside the leg, and it's going to be along the line of that stroke. I'm going to hit Control F to paste the leg back in here, then Control Shift and back bracket or left bracket. I'm sorry. Now another way you could get by by doing this, I'll show you here in a second. Is oh my bad. For if. If you didn't want to do it that way and mess with the cutting, you could simply do the same as in here. And hide it within the stroke. But if you're using different, if you had a, a different color, what you would do is grab this leg, Control C, Control F to paste it in front. Now let's not get to the f all the way to the top because there's a bunch of uh, levels in between to bring it all the way up. But anyway, what you would do, being you have a copy of that leg on top of the other leg. To simply take the stroke or excuse me the fill and knock it out and what I normally what I do normally in order to do this is I'll actually uh, control 2 locks this so now the only the only uh, thing you can change you're not going to change the the top stroke the outline all you can change is the bottom one so for instance so that's going to cover 
anything that's hidden underneath here. Control Z to undo that. And then Control Alt 2 unlocks everything. It unlocks everything all together. But like I said, it's totally up to you and how you want to go about doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the actual bottom one, Control 2. And I'm going to do a shadow and a highlight. Now, the way I go about doing this is all you need is the fill so you can take out the stroke. And for the fill, I'm going to go with white. So I'll usually start right about here or I'll actually start on the actual uh, line. And just simply curve around to how you see fit a highlight or shadow would be. I I just I don't really follow the rules on shadowing or anything like that because I just it's not something I'm really concerned about. All right, now since this is gonna be the highlight right here, this white, so we got it partially inside and partially outside. We're gonna do the same thing that we did for this right here, and I'm just gonna click Control C to copy this uh, stroke path of just the outline of the leg. And hold shift. And then we're going to go to intersect. And now I just press control F to throw that outline back in. And I'll follow. And, and like I said, this is going to cover anything that may be off. And then you select the white. Get rid of the opacity and knock it down to about 30%. And there's your highlight. And as you can see, this is uh, not over, so you just press uh, Control Shift and right bracket, and it covers that up. And next, we'll do oh, the shadowing. And for this, I'll just click the black. doesn't really matter how you do this as long as it's around the actual uh, object itself. So I'm going to select the outline, control F, or excuse me, control C. Hold down shift, select the black, and intersect. And control F to paste that back in place. And now we're going to select the black and knock the opacity down to 30%. Do is actually lock this here with Control 2. Select all this right here. Control Alt 2 to unlock it all. Well, that didn't work out for me. Alright, Control Shift back bracket. And then knocks that leg down. So, say for instance, you already got this down and you want to put it up. Uh, a highlight, or excuse me, a highlight or a shadow here. You're gonna run into the issue where if you wanted to put the shadow here, Control C. Now, if I knock this down to 30% here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna overlay on top of this one. And be darker. So you select these two, add them, and that fixes that issue right there. Let's check how I got this one really quick. Now for this, what I'm going to do, select it, hit circle, and what you're going to do is hold alt, and you're going to take this, this point is going to be your uh, flip mark. 
So I'm gonna hold Alt and flip it right about there. And I wanna do it vertically and hit copy. So they're the two closest legs towards us. I'm gonna change that to white. And I actually will add a shadow right here. If you hold Alt, you can actually bring in the handle that you're holding over here. Oh, my bad. Control Y. This is to help you in case you can't see how f if you're going beyond the fill. So this one go completely around it. I'm going to select this stroke, the top outline, control C to copy it, hold down shift, select the path we just made and hit intersect. Hit control Y and control F to paste that at the top. I'm going to select this black and knock it down to 30%. Then I'm going to select this leg and control left bracket. You just hold it down until you get it to the point you want it to. I guess we can do the same on this side as well. C to copy. Hold shift to select the other one. Intersect. Control F to paste in front. 30%. It begins that pop up in front. It's going to select all this here. Control shift left, bra left bracket and knock it on the back. Y. Select the stroke outline, control copy, hold them down, then hold down shift, select that, intersect. Control Y, control F to paste that back in the front. Make that black, knock it down to 30. Select all this. That control shift left bracket. Like I said, always remember to keep on saving while you're working on this stuff. We'll just add a little bit of shadow here, too. Copy paste to copy the stroke. Hold down shift, select the outline or the shadow that we're going to make, intersect. And control F to paste it up in front, the stroke line. I'm going to select this, control, shift, right bracket. And to hide this behind here, we're just going to direct select tool, grab. I'm going to actually go on and do this. Select that, Control 2 to lock it all, and then grab it here and bring it under. And Control Alt 2 to unlock everything. And we'll select this and knock it down to 30%. I'll do is select all this here. Control Shift Left Bracket. 
and then just control right bracket to slowly move it back up. And for right here, all we're going to do is um, simply simply select an offset color here, which I'm going to knock off that fill. And maybe this Shift X will switch these around here. And we'll go with the lasso tool. And just simply make some blemish marks on it. I'm just gonna select this here, the outline and the shadow. Just hold shift and right bracket. My bad. Take that back. Make sure everything's unlocked first. I'm sorry. All you want to do is select the shadow and control shift right bracket. Just knock the shadow up. And then we're just going to have to bring this up here. Uh, control shift right bracket. And then we'll do the same over here. Shadows, control shift right bracket, and then make it even easier. Just select all this and control shift right bracket. And because I'm just going to flip these to the back, all I'm going to do is actually make this easier. Select all this. So you just have this one foot here. Control 2 to lock all that. All I'm going to do is right click on this foot here and group it. That way it's all together. I don't have to worry about all these little dots by themselves. Control 2 to unlock everything. And then I'm just going to lock all this on this side here. Control 2. right click and group that one as well. Now control alt 2 to unlock everything. Then we're going to select both of these